Hi, I'm Wayne and this is Bastrol Woodworking. Today I made this collapsible dolly for my tripod. Ninety percent of the time when I'm filming videos, I'm by myself, completely alone in the shop. Um, and it becomes kind of a hassle to do a bunch of different camera setups. So usually I just leave the camera in one spot. I'm trying to get actively better at that, so I built this really simple tripod dolly to make moving the tripod around my space a lot easier. I began by ripping a couple of 3 inch strips of 3 quarter inch MDF. I don't work with MDF very often and I've had this left over from another project for almost a year and I've been looking for a use for it. Helpful, thank you. <laughs> Alright, so that should be enough for the three wings. I then cross cut the three inch strips down to 22 inches. This will be the length of each wing of the dolly. I wanted my dolly to be a little bit oversized so that it'll also fit lighting stands and other tripods that have a little bit wider of a stance. I had Lionel in the shop with me for this project. He ran the camera and provided an extra set of hands when I needed them. Doesn't need to be a perfect circle, so I don't care. I then used my circle cutting jig on the bandsaw to cut a circle that is roughly 6 inches in diameter. Okay, it's round enough for what we're doing. Using my homemade 10 inch disc sander in the 3 inch side of a 1 2 3 block, I marked 3 flats to sand into the circle. MDF creates a whole bunch of really nasty sawdust and requires almost constant cleaning of the sandpaper. I really should have been wearing a respirator for this part. We did have the air cleaner running on high during this entire sanding process and Lionel was standing off camera spraying compressed air at the table during this shot in an effort to keep the immediate work area clear of the sawdust. So this is, this thing's kind of cool. This is a, um, it's supposed to just be like that green miter saw under there, but I bought a metal cutting blade for it because I bought this saw for $50 at Walmart one day. And I was like, well, like I don't need it. I don't like miter saws to begin with, but if I can put a metal cutting blade on it and it lasts like two years, it's basically paid for itself. And this thing's a little champ. So this is what's called a steel demon blade and you can cut metal with it. I had to cut the ends off of some spare hinges I had to prevent them from overlapping in the middle. Once that was done, I was able to attach the wings to the centerpiece using three quarter inch number eight screws. This is called a transfer punch and it allows you to line up like with the center of a hole and it will punch a little divot in the center of that hole. For this purpose, it's like not all that necessary. These aren't super sharp drill bits, so it just helps them not skate across the top. The hinges will allow this dolly to be ultra portable, as well as allowing it to be stored away when it's not in use. You wanna hit that with a hammer? With the hinges installed, I attached a two inch coaster to the end of each wing using the same three quarter inch number eight wood screws, along with some washers. This is the tedious part of the project. And then if this works, then I have to spray it with some like lacquer so that if it does get humid in here and stuff, the MDF won't swell. They're shooting right out the bottom. All right, that was a little bit long, whatever. <laughs> I almost crawled over there and I was like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> like it's on wheels, I can just rotate it. <laughs> I then glued and nailed some stop blocks on each wing to keep the tripod captive. There's a little bit of flex because there's four wheels on it and this, 
the hinges we used are not super tight, but that's completely fine for our my use in here. It doesn't need to be. It's not gonna come apart. That's all that really matters. I then sprayed everything down with a couple of coats of lacquer and attached a handle to the center. You'll notice that I did end up adding a caster to the center of the dolly. It probably would have been fine without it, but I was worried that something may break if I were to ever step in the center of the dolly to move it or something. Also, casters come in packs of four, and it would have been weird to have a single caster just hanging around the shop. And that's it. It was a really easy project utilizing a lot of scrap materials and extra hardware I had around the shop. The only thing I had to order in for this were the casters, and they were the cheapest casters I could find on Amazon. I'll link to them down in the description below. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with new projects as they are released. We just loaded a whole bunch of new merch in the merch store at BassDoorWoodworking.com. So if you want to support the channel and you want to get some cool merch, there's t-shirts like this hammer wrench shirt, and also we have new hats in the shop. So give it a look. Thank you.